this is definitely a topic that needs to be discussed. And that is, being said, it's corporate greed and affecting Apex Legends. So let's get into it. First things first, we're going to take a look at the tweet that Respawn or Apex put out in reference to this. So let's go. So this was the tweet that was put out. And I do think it is kind of funny because there's also a reader ads context, though people might not uh, might want to know. So anyways, Apex put out. Starting with Season 22, we're evolving the Apex Legend Battle Pass to improve your experience and progression goals. Read on to learn, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, what they're doing here, so if you look right above my head, Season 21, they used to use uh, the Apex coin, right? 950 Apex coins to get the Battle Pass, so roughly $10. Most, and mind you, most Battle Passes... Season passes, whatever you want to call it, cost about $10, right? Well, they're changing it. And you're like, okay, so how are they changing it? So they're changing it. So instead of spending the um, Apex coin to get it, they're going to start charging you USD. So it's going to be $10 USD for one BP battle pass for each split. And it's split between... Mind you, two parts of the season, 60 levels. So you're getting 120 levels vice the 110 levels you would get with the original battle pass for roughly $10, right? So they're charging 10 extra dollars for you to get 10 extra levels, basically. Uh, it says here, starting in season 22, each split will now have its own 60 level battle pass with the same cost for each. With the battle pass shortened, most of I mean, more of our community will be able to tackle and tra uh, track and obtain the reactive skins at the end. You'll now earn double the battle pass rewards across the entire season by completing both battle passes. More on it below. And you can continue your progression past level 60 up to a level 100 to upgrade your battle pass badges. Okay. The impact of this change will twofold and allow us to align with our progression more closely with ranked while increasing the value of for your time. So right here, it's just showing you, you know, free old, which was 110, 200 coins, blah, 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 free new, premium old, premium old, uh, new. And then right here, it's explaining that every half a season, you got to, you know, basically shell out the, the money um, to get it. So you can either do the, you know, $20, 60 levels, 10, you automatically skip 10, 1300 Apex coins, 2400, you know, crafting materials, so on and so forth. If you guys want, I'll post this definitely down in the comment section. But, like I said, X, this is the interesting part right here. It says, while Respawn claims it, this change is made through community feedback, it is obviously this change is only for profitability for EA shareholders. Consumers are forced to spend IRL in real life uh, currency instead of our Apex coins. So you can earn as many Apex coins as you want for this pass, but you're not going to be able to spend those coins on that. So here is the Fancy Feast uh, ad that Kotaku just loves throwing up there. Apex Legends piles up 10,000 negative Steam reviews as players fight price and hikes. It appears the Apex community is trying to do what the community behind Helldivers did, which is review bomb the shit out of the game they love. It worked in the Helldivers case for the most part, but EA's rework of the Battle Pass has earned an overwhelmingly negative rating on Steam. Um, Apex Legends has over the years been a bit of a hotbed for EA penchant for greed. In the past, Apex Legends has faced controversy over numerous collections and cosmetics hidden behind no noticeably expensive microtransactions now ea's rework in the battle pass has landed the game in usually in unusually hot water and by that we had one of these um greed money grabs at the beginning of the year if you guys did not hear here we go this is referring to the final fantasy bundles they had at the beginning of the year here in 2024 in order for you to basically complete and get every single item you want from the Final Fantasy crossover Apex did, 
you needed to sink 360 USD dollars, real money, to get a chance. It says for us uh, for free and the chance at a is 0.000001, an entire event costing $360. This is ridiculous to think that people are willing to spend that much money for a skin in game, which you can't even trade. You could probably sell your account, which is obviously against terms of service, but who cares? Apex is being greedy. Well, EA is being greedy. Let's reword that. It was recently announced that Apex Legends will be adjusting the delivery of its Battle Pass, effective beginning uh, the upcoming 22nd season. Battle Passes will split in half, and players will have to pay the regular price, uh, regular se- re- pay the price of a regular season for half of one. Now, the justification from EA and Respawn was that the players would receive more content by paying for each split. But like we saw in the beginning of this video that we discussed, they're not really receiving too much more. They're just receiving 10 extra tiers. Just 10. But it seems that the publisher, which is reportedly ranked at the top of the world's worst companies, doesn't surprise me. We talked about the Unity game engine and how it drove itself into the ground. Well, the new CEO that... Well, the old CEO, we shall reward that, of Unity... Came from EA. And he was quoted in saying that he was willing to have players pay for bullets as they're in the middle of reloading and battlefield. Think about that one. He wanted to add microtransactions in the middle of the game. You want a bullet? We're going to charge you a penny a bullet. And let me tell you, you better hope your aim is, uh, your accuracy is pretty good with that, you know. Otherwise, you're going to be shelling out a lot of money. Is it just trying to squeeze the community for more money? The community notes on the X, formerly known as Twitter post, announcing the change angrily insisted the move is only profitable for EA shareholders. Which I completely agree. And that's the crappy part about a lot of these big game companies is the fact that they are publicly traded. That, I think, is going to be the downfall of a lot of these larger AAA or quadruple A, like Ubisoft with, you know, that pirate game. Um, where they're publicly owned, they're publicly, publicly traded. On top of that, sometimes they get into beds with different governments and they have different things that they have to abide by and have to meet expectations. Because if they don't, guess what? People lose their jobs. And by people, I mean the people at the top. I mean layoffs. Just because the people at the top want to get their money. Anyways... In short, the news has gone ha, has hardly gone over well, and if you check the Apex Legends Steam page right now, its recent reviews have fallen to overwhelmingly negative and distinct reservations for either the absolute worst game or the target of Steam's review bombing. The latter has happened to be the case. All right. As you can imagine, most of the critics being uh, levied at the Apex Legends in the Steam reviews chiefly take issue with the Battle Pass changes, not the gameplay itself. Don't get me wrong, a lot of people do ask me, do I play Apex? I've played Apex in the past, um, but the problem with Apex and me is, like, it's unforgiving. <laughs> it's pretty rough sometimes. Some days, I, some days I play good, some days I play bad. Apex is definitely one of those ones I gotta be on point in order to, like, play. At least Fortnite is a little forgiving, if that makes any amount of sense. One reviewer reads... Now, with the Battle Pass system, I'm deleting the game, as well as most players. Bye. Another cuts right to the point, reading, EA is usually destroying fun games with ridiculous amount of over-monetization. Classic greedy EA. Which I completely agree. There's no reason for that. Um, per the last comment, a lot of folks don't seem that, surpri- that all surprised that EA, a company known for numerous microtransaction riddled titles, might try to make a move like this. EA, EA, EA. Why do you always destroy every game you create at some point? More, uh, reads one disgruntled reviewer who writes, uh, writer seems to have been in this position before. Probably with Battlefront. The Star Wars Battlefront game, the second one, where like it was a pay-to-win game in the beginning. Very much so. And after people complaining and people raising a stink, Got the game to actually a semi-playable point, not really played, you know, pay to win. 
The review that cuts deepest simply says two $10 battle passes per season. Titanfall died for this slop. Which I agree. I think Titanfall is an amazing game. Titanfall was well ahead of its time with the PvP, the PvE, and it, it was just ridiculous. It was an amazing game, and don't get me wrong, Apex is, is good. It's a good game. But Titanfall deserves to be revisited, but I highly doubt it. You know, EA owns the rights to that title, and it's probably never going to see a light of day again because they're solely focused on Apex. The game's overall rating is still holding out mostly positive. Folks on Apex Legends subreddit thinks that the well-intentioned uh, intention to move as it is to review bomb and subsequently ward players away from what they perceive to be a money pit. Oh, absolutely. This motherfucker is like a boat, baby. By the way, I've always been told that like if you're going to get a boat, don't get one. Just rent it for the weekend because it's cheaper. Then you don't have to worry about throwing. It's a black hole for money. Same with games nowadays from the looks of it. They'd be shocked if they made any difference at all. Some are a bit more optimistic, but only if you're able to realistically hurt the publisher's wallet by the end of next season, which begins next month. In the meantime, a whole slew of players are giving up on Apex Legends, while others wonder if they're really ready to throw in the towel on a game they've loved for years. Listen. We're going full screen real quick. I'm telling you right now, sometimes, I've been told this many a times actually, but sometimes, if you love something, you just got to let it go. And if it comes back, it was meant to be. And I'm talking about you, Apex. If you love Apex Legends and you don't agree with this, just let it go. And if they reverse their views on this, which I highly doubt because it's EA, by the way, you guys. If they reverse their options on this, then it was meant to be. Anyways, you guys, hopefully you guys have a great, wonderful day. Don't forget to mash that like button. Subscribe. We're almost to 8,000. I can't do this without you. And I want to hear your voices. What is your opinion on this? Do you think it's just another corporate entity being greedy and not you know, adding extra content like they're saying they are, which is only 10 levels. I don't see doubling the price of a battle pass, whatever you want to call it, for just 10 levels is warranted. I think it's a terrible idea. That's just me. Anyways, guys, have a great and wonderful day, and I'll catch you later.